Welcome once more to hear you know Chris vlog. And on this podcast, you know what we do? We bring the best of Afrobeat sounds to you in its basic, essential, diluted form. And without further ado, I want to say thanks to the returning subscribers. And for the new ones who are out here visiting for the first time, I want to say welcome. I'm your regular host, Chris. And on this segment, I will bring you a very good sound in its easiest form but before we dive into that one please i want to urge you all who are out here have not yet subscribed to click on that subscription button i want to say thanks as you do that so today's song i don't know the title of this video has given it away it always does it always does but it feels good that you already know this song is a song performed by files the bad guy he featured flavor the ejele one of africa and Odumo the Black on the song. And Odumo the Black seems like a new name in the industry. Yeah, you're right if you guessed that. I mean, Odumo the Black has been on the ground doing his rap thing. But now, the world is getting to recognize him. He's globally being seen on different videos and song collaboration. But this is not a video for Odumo. Let's shine the light to someone we're here to talk about. And the person, of course, is files on the song EDK, which actually means powerful people. That's an Igbo word for those of you who don't know. But files is actually a Yoruba guy. I kind of commend his interests and undying zeal to want to start the song. I mean, his verse, of course, with few Igbo words and the way he delivered those words were so prolific and apt that you wouldn't tell if you don't know Faust that he's not an Igbo guy. And the accent was given. It was given an Igbo man's accent that will make you feel Faust is an Igbo guy. But Faust is originally a Yoruba. So yeah, that being said, diving into this song, I think the chorus opened up the song. We have Flavor, which you already know if you've been following my podcast you will know every flavor songs I've done. It's about him singing for the influential people, the rich people, the powerful people in the society. And on this song, he went on the same cliche he usually does. And he was talking about the powerful people in the society. And for clarity, the lyrics on your screen right now, you can read along and the translation is also there beside it. But I'm still going to explain further to advance the simplification of this lyrics in the way you will understand better. So the first line was like, if a maybe go, the biggest fish he don't show. And this actually means like powerful, the most influential, the high class people in the society, they've actually showed up on the spotlight. And he's using the biggest fish here to connote this rich and influential people. And he went on to say, everywhere don't choke. And everywhere don't choke means they are causing pandemonium. They are giving people this goosebumps. They're trying to make people speechless because they are putting an act that people wouldn't believe. You know, these are what rich people do. And you and I will agree if you have a rich person around you, I don't mean just rich, I mean wealthy people, powerful people. You see, what they do are always very extravagant. So that's what he meant when he said, you don't shock. You don't shock means like, you know, people are short of war, they are speechless. He went on to say, Obodedelu, Obodedelu Jim Jim, 
and this is an Igbo word that translates as everywhere God come, your action have left everyone speechless. It just an Igbo word of saying he don't choke. And he went on to say Aye Ife Mebego, which means like they begin to ball, they begin to make things happen in their own way. And the chorus went on with a good melody when it says in the and Igbo percussions and instrumental followed it up in a dynamic way that made Ndik and DK Obodo flow melodically till the first verse came in. And this first verse was the verse I was commending false earlier on about approaching with Igbo language. He went on to say, What an ayueze, otukula and yona for chase. And yeah, for the non Igbos, I'll put it this way. This line is very easy, but to explain it, a lot has to get inside it for you to actually understand. So, literally, this line means someone who is being asked to be coronated, but he rather sits down and enjoy picking out meat from his teeth with a toothpick. This is the literal definition of it. But Faust meant this in a kind of metaphorical way. He's trying to say that he's being pleaded to be crowned as the king of what he does, but he's not paying attention to them. And after that line, he went on to say, Ifumni bom de de, inkobi with SS Pepe. And this was Faust saying, whenever you see him, like you have to accord him respect. And they they in this context means uncle, but metaphorically he's trying to say he's good at what he does. So you can't be better at than him. So whenever you see him, you have to give him his due diligence and respect. The next line went on to say he's eating on kobe with a whole lot of pepper. And on kobe is an Igbo delicacy, a meat with a traditional sauce. And you can see it up here on the screen for clarity. And the next line went on to say, come see my place and go tell your father, see man no be servant again. And this is Pigeon. He's trying to say, you come see what he has achieved all this while he's been in the industry. And after you see that, you can go tell your parents that he has come so far and achieved a lot for himself. So Faz has achieved a whole lot of things. And people are calling that respect in and beyond the music industry in the Nigerian environment. The next line went on to say, You wait, Jackba, with all my karat. You think, say, you know, go still pay. He used karat. We all know karat is the standard used in measuring the originality or purity of gold. This is him telling the person that, Oh, you think you can run away with my karat, which is gold, or my possession? But beware, because you're gonna still pay no matter how long you pay. This is to tell you he's got power in the society. He's got pedigree, he's got influence. Let's get to see what the next line was saying. When he said, Nigerian nightmare style bender, see the swagger where I carry enter. This line actually means these two people you've seen on your screen are Nigerian who are involved in kickboxing and they've actually achieved the highest laurel in that sport. So he was using them to connote that he is the king, he is a champion in what he does. Went on to say, see the swagger where I carry enter. This is very self-explanatory. Show fresh, but I carry mental. This actually means that he looks fresh, but don't dare him because you're going to see another side of him. Carry mental is a way of saying, if you actually bring your trouble to him, that he's got a whole lot of trouble in him. Next line went on to say, fuck with my family, bad temper. This means like, if you mess with any of his family, you're gonna get double fold of what you gain. Large entrance, this is him, you know, bragging about how much they spend when they spend. So I bet you'll recall when I was telling you, Faust did well on this song, the way he delivered the first line in Igbo, and that would get you thinking he's an Igbo boy. But no, he's actually a robot, because the last line of this verse, actually confirmed that when he said white abada omo yoruba and this actually means he's a yoruba to the fullest the next line faded the verse into the chorus as the chorus faded out Ujumodu, who is a very typical pidgin english street rapper came in when he said on colors we run am falana ijele the popori too much she opened toros she give me kebe i lock camp to coast 
the first line on Colos means it's high and on Colos is the kind of drug being paid out in Africa right now. So many people get high on it, you know, say no to drugs. But Otomodo was trying to say that we run out. That's what he's trying to say here. He consumes Colos, which is a type of drug. Falana is false surname. Ijele is flavors that name. He went on to say the popori too much, which means he is with fouls and flavor. The question here for me when I listen to this song is, are they taking colors with you? <laughs> yeah, but he's trying to say they are together and he's trying to tell them like, you know, this particular girl does that ask to him, which means like, hey, the girl invited him over for them to make love and what have you. And he went on to say, I lock him to coast, which means he did everything he's supposed to do with this girl. And that made the girl fall in love with him in a strong, hard way. And to coast there is a particular kind of olden days padlock or key used to close something. So he's trying to connote here that the love is now strong like a Tokos key. The way he handled this girl made this girl fantasize for more. And this girl now wants him because the girl has you know, actually falling in a strong love that he locked with a Tokos key for her. He went on to say like, he gave the girl merriment on the next line when he said, I fly her to Bordeaux. Bordeaux is a city in France. For those of you who don't know, Bordeaux is not too far away from Paris. I've been there myself. I mean, I might put one or two pictures for you to see me there in Bordeaux. <laughs> so yeah, he went on to say, Obodo Ibo, give him paroles. Obodo Ibo is a way to say overseas. Odumodo being an Ibo boy, he's trying to say he took this girl to Bodo to overseas. He took her to shopping, and that's what it meant when he said give him paroles. And for the other next line, I'll put the translation and the meaning on the screen for you to see yourself. So I don't spend much time on this explanation. And as this verse finished, Flavor came on with his chorus again. And we wrapped up the song. Please make me better at what I do. And as I'm bringing you this podcast, the only way to encourage me is to click on that subscription button. So make me one of the Ndike Ndike Wombodro on this YouTube. The power is partly on you. So please, as you do that, I want to say thank you. And the best way to know when I drop a new content is by clicking on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever there's a new content. That being said, I want to say thank you for being one of my Indic and DK one do. See you on the next video. Until then, love yourself the best way you can. Peace. What an yes, who took a land in a purchase, if you need to go to the house, you can 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 go to the you can go to the house, 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 you can go to the Large entrance, check out the fat band, and shall I put comedy bartender? Big spending only holy white up and that.